Trying to anticipate how much longer LeBron James will play at an elite level is like predicting how many more action films Liam Neeson will make post-Medicare eligibility. James has benefited at a high cost in dollars and sweat from the most advanced diets, conditioning, fitness and recovery methods, equipment and staff in sporting history. His work ethic is easily of the highest caliber. So I could easily see him continuing to perform at his current level with little drop off much until his 40th birthday. Will that be enough for him to achieve what most of us believe are his twin career long ambitions? The first is eclipsing Michael Jordan in casual NBA fans debates about who is the greatest player ever. Even if James passes Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the league's most score, I don't think extending his claim to the most sustained excellence ever title counts much in that debate. Many people believe that he has to pass Jordan in his ring count, that is 7 rings, 3 more than he already has, in order to deflect from the 6 loss finals on his resume. That's simply not going to happen. That left him with the dream of playing in the same NBA game as his 17 year old son, Bronny. That means surviving until 2024 through 2025 in the NBA when Pops will be age 40. Based on what I've described so far, that seems totally fair, with only a minor decrease in James's skill set. Certainly not to the level that he would be embarrassed or have his reputation as an all time top 5 player jeopardized. So mark me down for 22 seasons for James, synchronizing his farewell tour with his eldest son's first season in the NBA. When is LeBron James going to retire? Because James is under contract through the 2022-2023 season, there's no doubt that he'll join Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Kobe Bryant, and Jamal Crawford as the only NBA players to have played 20 seasons. It also appears that James will overtake Karl Malone and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the NBA's all-time greatest scorer. Nonetheless, I don't believe James will end his career in this manner. I'm confident he'll sign another contract to further his career. What are the reasons? 1. James has done an excellent job of postponing father time. Yes, James has missed significant time due to injuries in recent seasons, including 2017 through 2018 where he missed 27 games, 2020 through 2021 where he missed 27, and 2021 through 2022 where he's missed 14 and counting. However, when James has played, he's looked as dominant as he did in his heyday. The other reason is that James has publicly declared that if his kid, Bronny, is able to enter the NBA, he would like to stay in the league. Bronny will be a senior at Sierra Canyon High School, a private K-12 school in Chatsworth, California. Given that track, I believe that LeBron will time his retirement to coincide with Bronny's first season in the league, possibly in 2024 through 2025. LeBron may not be the same dominant player that he once was by that stage, but I believe he'd be willing to accept a relegation rule and a pay drop in order to play on his son's squad. As a result, anticipate LeBron to remain a free agent until he learns which team will choose his son. LeBron James has already stated that he intends to continue playing in the NBA until Bronny enters the league. LeBron's remaining service time isn't entirely up to him. This is a cooperation with the basketball gods because a slip here, an ankle twist there, a torn muscle here, and the body may refuse to cooperate. Just a guess, but he should be able to play two more seasons in good health at an elite level, meaning deserving of all-star consideration. There's the issue of his exit strategy. Will he follow in the footsteps of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Robert Parrish, among others, and overstay his welcome? Of course, the fairy tale conclusion is LeBron playing just long enough to be teammates with Bronny for a year, either in the NBA if the kid makes it, or professionally overseas, before calling it quits. I'm not LeBron James, and I'm not close enough to him to understand his intentions or how eager he is to play with deteriorating abilities and agility, so it's meaningless for me to try and predict the answer to this question. He's already not the player that he was two seasons ago in terms of his efficiency on every single possession, in every single game. And perhaps he's becoming more prone to injury with each passing year. But he's still a highly productive offensive player, shooting 68.8% in the paint, his fourth best figure of his career, and passing at a high level. Even on defense, he possesses the intelligence and athleticism to make big plays on occasion. So unless the wheels fall off in the next 16 months, he could certainly continue to play until the end of his current deal, which expires in 2023, if he's ready to make the necessary sacrifices. To appropriately cite James, I looked through the crates for the most recent words on his future. When asked last month on Uninterrupted about his ambitions for his son, Bronny, James didn't mince words. I want him to play in the NBA. I'm not even going to lie. I'd like to join him on the court. That would be an incredible moment in my opinion. He's about to be a junior, so the years, they're getting close, but we'll have to see. 
that tells me LeBron will play at least long enough to realize his dream, and why shouldn't he? We'd all like to achieve something of that magnitude. Throw in some persistent injuries, and James, at 37, is playing some of the finest basketball of his career, with his highest scoring average of 29.1 points per game since 2009, his first season in Cleveland. James signed a contract extension in 2020 that will take him through the 2022-2023 season, and Bronny will graduate from high school in 2023. We've seen how James has wisely negotiated shorter contracts throughout his career to keep his options open. Whether he stays or joins a new team at the end of his current Lakers contract, you should expect another short one after that. Aside from that, we've all heard how James spends an estimated $1.5 million each year on health and fitness. As a result, James can continue to play productively for as long as he desires, whether as a frontline starter or eventually as a backup. Nonetheless, we're all rooting for James to be playing with Bronny. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Top NBA, or hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.